Hey guys, it's Pamela doing a Dutch pour today. And I just have one video of the Dutch pour, the nine tiny Dutch pours. And I, uh, I've been practicing a little bit, which is something I never do, but I did practice for this. You gotta get those paint thicknesses right. Well, it's within anything. I've got some metallics here. I've got a pink that I made up with the uh, Deco Art Extreme Sheen 24 karat gold. I'm sorry, not the 24 karat gold, the uh, sterling silver, which is a really, you can see it on the sides of the glass here. It's a really, really pale, kind of almost a pearl. And I mixed some ink with it, which I did on the last <clears throat> Uh, metallics video I think my last video this is an Amsterdam ink it says it's an acrylic ink I don't know if there's any other kind but I've got yellow blue and red in that and so I mixed some red in this sterling silver and came out with this pink now they have a rose in the extreme sheen but it's uh, well, I'm getting too depth in the colors again I'm sorry I'll stop Okay, here is the gold that I added some of that red ink to, and it made it kind of a rose gold. And here's amethyst. I don't know what combination I'm going to use these in, of course, but they're sitting here, ready to go. Here's ruby. And here's the 24 karat gold. And here's Artist Loft Cobalt Metallic Blue. It's just a richer teal than the amethyst in the Deco Art Extreme. And here is a uh, color shift in, um, what does it say? Green flash. It's really pretty. And, um, and then some sapphire blue, which is totally, you know, different than this blue. Okay, here we go. I'm sorry, pink. Some green, I think that would be pretty. Oh, on the outside, what would that look like? Okay guys, I'm going to do a voiceover for the rest. Um, I picked some colors there that I thought looked kind of pretty in nature. And I'm using the airbrush to blow the white over the colors. And probably should have used the blow dryer. I think I used that for the rest of the paintings. That airbrush, you really have to kind of use a certain touch <laughs> i only have it on like 20 psi actually that looks like more than 20 i think I, I think i needed to adjust it down a little bit but um and i did later on you can kind of wave the uh the tool as you're making the petals or you can come in really slow so that it's like you're actually blowing it there's different things you can do that I think you you know you can't really do. It just takes a little practice. Uh, well, it takes a lot of practice, obviously. <laughs> I scraped that one. So we're going again. And uh, oh, I love that green. That's so pretty.
Well, I'm getting a little more of a hang of the brush of the uh, of the tool. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I had too much, I think I had too much paint. What do you think? I think I had too much paint. Oh, side view. Side shot. Torching it. Yeah, I'm not really happy with this one. Of course, that picture I showed you at the beginning of the video was on a little three by three canvas. I think it's easier on a three by three canvas. I don't know if it's because the paint's thicker. Well, when you're dealing with thick paint, then you gotta have, you know, thick paint through and through all over the canvas. And I think it just created more cells and it just, I only used three col I think I used two colors in that one. Yeah, two colors, gold and teal. Anyway, so we're gonna do some gold. And some sapphire. Maybe use a little less paint this time. Not really. Come in with the blow dryer this time. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Because you really need to blow the paint. Or the white paint. Over the colored paint. So that you get that white paint to fall through get the density going okay this one will be a little bit better Get some cells to pop up there. I really think I need to play with this one a little bit more. Oh, guess I didn't. Guess I left it. Okay, <laughs> next one. There's a fine line. You keep playing with a Dutch pour and it just gets worse and worse and worse. You just sometimes you have to leave it alone. Still using a lot of paint. Okay, now I'm just being too exact with the petals. I'm trying to blow them out just exactly, and that's not that's not right. Plus, I'm not working with the edge of the canvas, blowing it over the sides, so it looks even more structure. That there's too much structure there, too much structure. Why am I critiquing my own stuff? That's what you guys should be doing, right? <laughs> All right, I'll let you watch the rest of the video. I'll see you at the end. Bye.
Well, I ended up with three that I could stomach. <laughs> I really like the one at the top the most after the cells came through on it. And I think I need to be just less structured. But this one, that first one, they need to look like that, right? Yeah, they do. Thanks, guys, for watching. Please like and subscribe. Bye.